To wake your PC2510 from sleep, push any button and hold it for two seconds. You're now at the main menu of your PC2510. You'll see in the bottom of the screen four dashes representing different screens which you can navigate to from your main menu. You push the bottom right button a few times and you'll see you navigate the screens. You'll want to go all the way over to the right hand side which is your settings screen. To enter, push your top right enter button twice. We are now on our settings screen. From here we have two different options. First being user, second being unit. We'll start with our user menu first and enter that by pushing the top right button twice. Here's where we have the different settings for the person to be wearing the watch. So first we'll start out with our female or your gender. We can change that to either. Let's enter with the top right button twice, which I just did. You can use your soft keys, your left and right bottom buttons to change that back from female to male, depending on uh, if you're setting up for yourself or someone else. Once you're done, you'll see in the top of the screen it'll tell you what button does what. So we know our top left button is going to be our save button. We'll press that once. That'll save that and bring it back to the previous screen that you were just at. So we want to move over to the next dash on the bottom of our screen. We'll push the bottom right button once to navigate to the right. Here's where we can set up their birth date. So we'll enter that by pushing the top right button twice. And here we can change the year, either up or down. You can go up with your right hand button, you can go down with your left hand button. And once you've found the year you want to stay at, follow your screen prompts there. We'll push the OK button on the top left. We can change our month from this screen. Again, bottom right button going up, bottom left button going down. Push OK to save, and we can change our date. Save that top left. Now right back to our uh, settings screen here. Move to the next menu by pushing the bottom right button once, where we can enter the weight of the individual. Again, we'll have our options on the top of the screen for our buttons. Top right button twice to enter that. We can change between kilograms and pounds. Saving that and setting it with the top left OK button. And here we can change the weight of the individual to be wearing the watch. Once you found that, push the top left save button once. Beyond this will be different screens for your heart rate max, your training zone, which will be preset after you've set your user information. To exit back to your set menu between user and unit, push your top left button twice. This will go back one screen. Now to move over to unit, push your bottom right button once, moving your little dash across the bottom of the screen, and enter that by pushing the top right button twice. From here we're going to have some options for the watch itself, such as your language, in your clock. So now, right now it's set in English. You can enter that to change it or leave it as such. And push the bottom right button and move over to the next option which is our date. We can enter that top right button twice to change or we can change our year and set OK top left, our month, and then finally our day. You also have a choice of format for how you want to see your month, day, and year. Once you're all done, pushing your top left button to save. Moving across on the screen, push your bottom right button once, which will have our clock setting. Enter that with the top right button twice. You'll have a choice between 12 and 24 hours. You can change that with your bottom left or bottom right button. Saving that with your top left button where it says OK. Here we can change the, uh, the time or your clock. You can push the bottom right button on the number that's flashing to go up or the bottom left button to go down. Once you want to go across the screen, push the next button on the top right hand corner and this will move you across to the minutes. Once you're done, push the save button top left 
save that setting. From here, we'll move across the screen, pushing the bottom right-hand button as we go. Well, we have a volume option. This is for the volume of the beeps your watch puts out. Moving we'll across next will be our button tones. This again will give you the option of having the beep as you push your buttons on the watch, such as we have now. Next option, bottom right, is your zone alarm. This will be an audible alarm whether you go out of your zone when you're exercising. Zone being heart rate. And our last option is you can customize the watch to have the name of yourself or anything else you want to name it. And once we're done, we want to go back to the main screen. Exit by pushing the top left button twice. We're now back to the main menu. In the event of a battery change, where you accidentally set your watch into a different language, it's easily fixable. To do so, we need to get back to the screen of the watch where you have the date and the time. So all you need to do, repeatedly push your top left hand button to go back to your main screen until it says off. Once we've hit that off button, we're now to the screen we want to be at. So what we want to do is push and hold our top right hand button, bottom right hand button, and bottom left hand button for three seconds, all at the same time until we get back to the main screen of the watch. And once we're there, we can check and just make sure we're in English, which we are. And you're all done.